Jesus was one of the most famous people in all of Israel. One day, as he was teaching, thousands of people came to listen, hanging on his every word. He spoke and taught in a way that people could understand. There were people from all social classes. Some were Jews, others were Gentiles. Yet each of them found significance in the wisdom with which he taught. Jesus had a lot to say, and later during the day, the crowds became hungry. Jesus, the people are hungry, his disciples came and told him. You must send the people away to find a place to stay and find something to eat. Jesus looked at the thousands of people. It was a huge crowd. There were 5,000 men, plus women and children. Then Jesus gave a strange order to his disciples. You give them something to eat, he commanded them. The disciples were confused. We don't have any food, and even if we spent all the money we had on food, there still would not be enough. Then Jesus asked them, What food do you have? One of his disciples, Andrew, came up to Jesus with a young boy. This boy has five barley loaves and two fish, but that is not enough for all these people. Have the people sit down, Jesus instructed. The disciples went to work arranging the people into an orderly seating pattern. The young boy watched as Jesus held up his food and thanked God for it. Suddenly, a miraculous sign occurred. After giving thanks, Jesus started handing out the food. The more he handed out, the more food there was. God was multiplying the five barley loaves and two fishes to be enough to feed 5,000 people. The crowds were amazed. Once again, Jesus' disciples witnessed firsthand the power of the Son of God. Jesus was constantly illustrating and teaching them valuable lessons that would help strengthen their faith. With God, nothing was impossible. Not even turning two fishes and five loaves of bread into a 5,000-piece lunch as the disciples scooped up the leftovers, they filled 12 full baskets. This was an undeniable miracle. Who could have such power? Indeed, this Jesus was the Son of God. That day, thousands more people believed, repented, and put their trust in God.